toss uh, that on over. What's going on, guys? It's King Touch Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a simple Fortnite transition that you guys can use in your Fortnite gameplays in Final Cut Pro 10, of course. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is have a character from Fortnite. In this case, I used the llama from Fortnite, and I just thought it's kind of like iconic to the game, so I thought I'd might as well download it. So I just saved it as a PNG image. You want to save, you want to make sure that's a PNG image, not a JPEG. You want the background to be transparent and save that to your computer. Just look up Fortnite characters, PNG, or transparent background on Google. Save Save it and then import it into Final Cut Pro 10. You also want to do the same thing for your gameplay. So import your footage. Of course, this is not my footage. This is by Scissors. If you guys don't know who he is, I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can go ahead and check him out. He's a really cool dude. And I suggest you guys subscribe to his channel since he has really cool Fortnite gameplays. So what you want to do is you want to select the video that you want to go to the next shot beneath this video here. Okay. And then once you guys have done that, go to the inspector window and go on to the project properties here and drag the PNG image right on top, okay? Make sure that the llama is roughly were you know roughly 10 about 10 frames you can do 20 frames that would work just fine here we have this going on and I'm going to increase this actually because I want this to be a bit longer for the transition because it was a little bit slow so I think that's a little too long maybe around here is fine uh so we want to trim this down to here all right then what you want to do is you want to select the llama and I'm going to go into the transform tool and I'm going to click on here and I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so I can see. And you want to go ahead and just make your character a little bit bigger. And you want to make sure that both the bottom and the top are not having a gap like this or like this because it will cause a problem. So once you have done that, you want to start the animation pretty much at the very front of the character. So in this case, the llama. And I'm going to drag this over to the left. And go ahead and zoom in if you have to. It's totally fine. I'm going to go right to left. Once the playhead is at the beginning of the clip here, just click this plus icon to add a first keyframe. And then go towards the end of that clip and go one frame to the left. And then just hold shift so that the animation is straight. And then you can drag this right across until you don't see the character anymore. Okay. So now if we go back, you're going to see that there's an animation happening here. And you can go back and play it. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Now what I want to do is I'm going to add a masking transition or a mask. So that will allow us to, once this goes through our screen, it will reveal the next clip. So to do that, all you got to do is go to the effects and just type in draw mask and simply drag this beneath this, the character here. So our second clip here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go towards the beginning. We're going to go one frame over. We're going to see where this starts around here. So we're going to click this one where our draw mask is at, click on it, click done. So we're in the draw mask and we're going to click here, here, and I don't know, something like over here like that. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to click invert mask. Okay. Go to the control points and click this little plus icon to add your first keyframe. Press the right arrow key on your keyboard. Click in between these two points and kind of have it right in between where the points kind of stop here. So just keep doing that. And I like to click in between here and just drag it like that. So just keep doing that. It might take a little bit, but you're going to have to go frame by frame. All right, guys. So once you go towards the end here, just keep adding this here and then you can go ahead and complete it and that will go away. Okay, sweet. So now you're going to have something that looks like that, which looks pretty cool. In my opinion, we're going to add a directional blur. So go to blur and then go to directional blur and just drag that on top of the llama. That will just give it like a feel that it's kind of moving. So if we go back, it won't look like it's fake. It just makes it look a little bit more realistic. I mean, if you guys found this tutorial helpful anyway, be sure to leave a like, guys. That'd be awesome. Your support has been really great recently. Be sure to turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.